pressure is mounting on French President Emmanuel Macron as the first round of country's parliamentary election kicked off today. The election is witnessing realignment of political entities. The outcome is now set to drive French politics for the next few years. In the latest, President Macron and his wife, Brigitte, cast their ballot in La Toku, and as he walked out of La Touki, Macron also signed an autograph and took a selfie with a man. His centrist coalition seeks an absolute majority and with it, the ability to implement his campaign promises. Macron's key rival, the leftist coalition, has particularly targeted Macron on this, criticizing him for inefficient handling of the police atrocities under his rule. Opinion polls suggest neck-and-neck -neck fight between President's Centrist Alliance and Sembo and the left coalition. The key issues dominating the election this time are soaring inflation crisis, the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine and its ramifications in the larger context, and rising police violence in the country. Elections for the 577 seats in the lower house National Assembly are a two-round process. The shape of the new parliament will become clear only after the second round, which is scheduled to take place on June 19th. According to some latest polls, Macron's alliance is expected to win the largest number of seats, but it might not get the magic figure of 289 seats to seal an absolute majority. Voter turnout is poised to play a significant role in the first round, as surveys have flagged particularly low voter enthusiasm this time. This is according to the Ministry of Interior. Midday turnout in the first round stood at 18.43%. However, the abstention rate is predicted to well over 50% when polls close. But it is still down by over not 8 points on 2017, and France recorded 51.3% in the polls. The neck-and-neck -neck fight between the two sides have brought in some key concerns for Macron and his government. So what are the stakes if Macron's alliance does not cross the magic figure of 289 seats? Well, if this happens, this could prove disastrous for the President Macron's agenda, which includes tax cuts, welfare reform, and raising their retirement age. Although Macron will have substantial powers over foreign policy, despite the poll's outcome, an election fiasco just months after his re-election could become a thorn in his side for the rest of his second five-year term. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.